Hi, I'm Kevin McDougal and I'm your friend. It's as good as that. Now I'll tell you, when you have expectations that are higher than your gratitude, it brings depression. So live with lots of gratitude so you can excel your expectations. That sets my point for everything here today. I do have some folks that I want to thank. I uh, want to thank, and I wrote these down so I wouldn't forget them. I'm grateful for lots of folks over the eight years that I've been here. All of my LAs, three of which are still here, Carrie Shipley, Crystal Rapon, Monica King. The Ponds, the greatest class that's ever entered, the House of Representatives. All of you are more than dear friends. I love each and every one of you. Josh West, I love spending eight, four years with you in that office, going back and forth about the Marine Corps and the Army and which is best, and of course we know who won out, Semper Fi. No, but thank you all, and thank you for the veterans who are in this, because I know we want to recruit more veterans, and the reason we want to recruit more veterans is because at least once in their life, they were willing to give their life for something greater than themselves. They were willing to give their life for something better than themselves. And we need those kind of folks here to lead the way. Because we all remember as representatives that we're here, but we're not here to elevate ourselves. We're here to elevate the people of Oklahoma, to make them better. So. My kids and my beautiful wife's kids, I want to thank them. Kylie Lyons, Cage McDougal, Kale McDougal, Tucker Hicks, and Lane Hicks. Thanks for putting up with all the pain that you had to go through whenever I do Facebook Live on the house floor. Right? <laughs> I was going to do Facebook Live today and pay the $1,000 fine because it would be well worth it. But I figure there's some charity that can get more benefit out of that $1,000 than the House of Representatives. <laughs> I want to thank my parents, Norman and Nova McDougal. And the greatest gift that I've received over the last eight years, of course, my beautiful wife and best friend, Mary McDougal, which Terry O'Donnell's aggravated. He told me never to come around these LAs ever again. But she's here in the gallery. Thank her. <laughs> And I thought I could literally stand up here and talk about all the good times and all the bad times, the teacher walkout, the teacher strike, all of those times, all the TV times, Richard Glossop, everything that I've been involved in in the last eight years. And I realized something. It's just like the Marine Corps, being a drill instructor in the Marine Corps, being a combat veteran. When you look back, that's not who you are, that's what you did. As a representative, you're serving as a representative, but one day it won't be who you are. It's something that you did. And I hope that you don't hold on to those high moments of your life and let that identify you the rest of your life. Shoot for something more every day. Shoot for something more. But while you're here, remember why we're here. I've realized that there's not a law that we can pass there's not a person that we can send here that'll make anything better. There's not a law that we can pass because good people obey laws, bad people don't. Doesn't matter what law we create on guns, people who wanna get guns and kill people will kill people. It doesn't matter. But what I have realized is we as a free people we as a free people have to continue to fight for the freedoms of this country. When I look back at the Constitution of the United States, I don't believe it was man-written. I don't believe that it, a man could actually write those words on a page without a divine inspiration bigger than himself to be able to put it down. And when you think about that, if we really want to make Oklahoma better, like I said, there's not a law, there's not a person we can send here. The one way that we can do, the one thing that we can do to make it better 
is to work on ourselves. Work on yourself. Because when you are better, your district is better. When you are better, the people around you are better. When you're better, you can gain wisdom and knowledge and all those things. I'll tell you just briefly my life experience, and I'm going to whiz through this because there's a lot to it. As a teenage boy, I stood here on the house floor and for the first time in my life admitted that I had a youth pastor who fondled me as a kid. And I mention that because most people that have that experience can't stand up and talk about it. And it leaves other people feeling like they're the only ones who've ever gone through it. It's not until the age of 40, 45 that you realize it wasn't your fault. And this year I went to Mighty Oaks. For the first time in my life, I did something that changed my life. Years ago, I got saved at the age of seven and I attended church like you're supposed to do. And I went every Sunday and Wednesday night and I did those things, but I still wasn't close. I didn't have any wisdom. I didn't have any knowledge. But I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. I was attending. And then at Mighty Oaks, they taught me four things. And they said, be in the Word, be in prayer, be in fellowship, and be accountable. And it's not something you do on Sundays and Wednesdays. It's something you do every day. That's why they say, take up your cross and follow me every day. It's a journey. And that one act let me realize that I shouldn't be judgmental on anybody else. I was judgmental on divorce until I got divorced. I didn't realize what my time in the Marine Corps had done to my head. I didn't realize that I needed help. I honestly thought that I could just fight through it. My way of finding help for myself was helping others. Volunteering with Soldier's Wish or volunteering at the church. But I realized after starting to read the word on a daily basis that when you want wisdom, all you have to do is ask for it. When you want truth, all you have to do is look for it and read it. I fully believe that the dreams and the ideas that each and every one of you have in your head, those dreams and ideas that are placed in your head were placed there by your creator. He created you specific for a purpose. He created me for that purpose. But how do you get there? And I believe there's a plan that's laid out clearly in how to get there. The first company I built that became a multi-million dollar company, I built by accident. But I did it based on the same principles that I'm finding in the Word. I built it on the principles of giving. I built it on the principles of discipline, looking for wisdom. And then after I sold that company and started the new one, I realized that it wasn't Tony Robbins and all of his principles. All of his principles simply came from the truth. It wasn't his original idea. But I believe those dreams and, and ideas and passions that you have inside of your head, you can get there, and there's a roadmap clearly laid out in front of us, but we got to read it. And I believe that's how the Constitution came about. I believe that those founding fathers were so immersed in the word that they quoted it in all their writings. That's where their wisdom came from. And so if I could say, how do I leave this place a better place? All I can say is hopefully I've become a better person and that those around me have become better because of it, but not because of me, but because of who's inside of me. And that love that he forces out and portrays out and pushes out to tell each and every one of you, all 101, that he loves you, he cares for you, he loves the state of Oklahoma, he doesn't care about your past, your past doesn't matter. He doesn't care about your past successes, they don't matter. What matters is what are you gonna do today? That's why he says don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow has enough worries of its own. Worry about today. Get up in the morning, spend a little time, think, pray, Ask for wisdom, because tomorrow's coming. You don't have to worry about it. Get up tomorrow and do it again. Guys, I love you. God bless you. I'm so proud to have served with you. Thank you, guys.